My name is Amir Al Safar. I'm a trumpet player, santor player, and composer based in New York City. Fabrizio brought me here. <laughs> I'm here at the Festival d'Aix-en-Provence, uh, working on several projects, uh, the first of which is the intercultural uh, program with Fabrizio Casol and coaching these young and incredibly talented students uh, who are putting together a musical project. We're focusing on maqam and maqam polyphony. Many of the, the musicians are already familiar with maqam. Some of them play uh, just maqam languages there as their home basis. Um, but maybe they've always worked in traditional contexts or contexts that certainly don't draw on uh, harmony and polyphony in the way that I've been uh, exploring in the last few years. So um, that's one of the goals or one of the sort of ideas of my presence here. That Fabrizio wants me to um, introduce these ideas and this, this way of, of relating to frequencies um, to both to the musicians who have already had training in maqam and also those that don't, who microtonality might be something very new. So at the same time, you know, we're, everybody's being introduced to something in a, that's new but coming from slightly different places, or vastly different places. The material itself is challenging. For those who have already played maqam, there's, you know, why, why, why am I doing it this way? They're being asked to do certain um, rhythmic things that, or, or repetitive cells that, that are not typical of the tradition, but for me are quite common coming from jazz and coming from uh, certain types of uh, even Western uh, or American classical music. The musicians that have never had to play outside of equal temperament. And fortunately, this group, they're getting it very quickly. The baritone saxophonist just quickly, I don't know if he already knew, but he just got the notes like that. The bass player has been really good, um, and the cellist. So they're all, they're getting it quickly, but it's, it's a difficult process. And then there's this the human element that we're not just, you know, it's not just information that's being transferred. There's me and my experience and my ideas about what music is, and then I'm encountering a group of people I've never met before who have their own history and their own, you know, everybody is a vast uh, trajectory. It's, it's kind of all of musical history through each, each individual. So when you bring these musical histories together, um, the personal, on the personal side, it's, it's a challenge too. And, and then sustaining interest and engagement and, and desire and focus uh, throughout, especially with these six hour days, it's, it's a, a challenge. But it's a challenge that I'm up for and I'm used to. It's different every time, but I enjoy um, because it's, I'm learning in the process as well. And this is like, I don't like to feel like I'm this teacher telling everyone what to do. I mean, sometimes the role I'm in requires me to but I'm much more interested in this, that we're all exploring something together. Every time I show them an idea and I hear it come back to me, I say, okay, maybe it is, you know, it's refining and refining and, and altering and, and getting deeper into something. When I'm in this position of being asked to show or to share or to give idea, I don't feel like, you know, I'm above any, any of these musicians because everybody in that room can do something that I can't do. I admire each person in, in the room and kind of not just admire them but like hold them in, in very high esteem and, and only want to give them something or share something that is worthy of their level. They're all masters, they're all on a very high level and so I feel really humbled all the time and, and conscious of it.